unexpected jobs numbers, Democrats will point to a falling unemployment rate. So who's going to win this fight? We'll break it down at the top of the show. Also, Mitt Romney's people know he has an image problem. They love going negative. And Romney blew his chance for a timely Jeb endorsement. Those are just a few of the nuggets from the new e-book, and we'll dish some campaign gossip with the authors of Inside the Circus. Plus, is there really a GOP war on women? Democrats are dining out on that idea. Republicans, they say it's all nonsense. So we'll have that debate. And did you ever wonder what it might be like to text with Hillary Clinton? That fantasy has gone viral, and it's in the sideshow. And finally, let me finish with the best thing of all that happened this week. We always hear about jobs leaving America. Here's a chance to create jobs in America. Oil sands projects like Curl and the Keystone Pipeline will provide secure and reliable energy to the United States. Over the coming years, projects like these could create more than half a million jobs in the U.S. alone. From the Canadian border, through the Midwest, to the Gulf Coast, benefiting hundreds of thousands of families throughout the country. Just for our economy needs to We begin with the economy and the presidential race. John Heilman is the national political correspondent for New York Magazine. David Korn is the Washington bureau chief for Mother Jones Magazine and is the author of the new book called Showdown. Both are MSNBC political analysts. Guys, as I mentioned today, the unemployment rate knocks down just a hair and total jobs added 120,000. Although those numbers are headed in the right direction, the jobs numbers fell short of expectations. This morning, President Obama...